I hope you can see me. And uh, my name is uh, Dmitro Kucheruk, and I am business development manager at S4GA. I trust uh, that you and your families are safe during this uh, tough pandemic times. And I also want to thank you and for joining us today on this webinar. My colleague Olga, uh, she will uh, mute all participants. Uh, so please use live chat to communicate with me or report about any technical issues. Uh, today, I will run a webinar about military airfield uh, lighting trailer for temporary operations. I guess it will take uh, about 45 minutes to one hour. This is actually our second webinar uh, dedicated to uh, military solutions. Uh, in the previous one, we discussed all airfield lighting applications that we offer for, for the Army. But today, I'm going to describe in more details um, portable airfield lighting system supply in a, tra in a trailer. So again, thank you for joining us today. I'm sorry for this small delay. Uh, this is actually the first time when we are streaming live our webinar on LinkedIn. So whoever cannot join us on, the, on Zoom are welcome to switch on our LinkedIn webinar event and you can see actually live this webinar there as well. I am going to deactivate my camera so you all can uh, focus on uh, the webinar and uh, good luck. At the end, I will make a Q&A session so you can all ask uh, all questions that are concerning you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? We will cover the following topics. Uh, as usual, I will talk about S4GA a little bit for those who joined us for the first time. Small introduction to S4GA solution for military. Then I will focus on the key element of today's webinar, which is military airfield lighting trailer, its key features and AGL equipment included. Of course, I will cover compliance of our equipment with NATO requirements. We'll speak about our new solution, which is wired airfield lighting in a trailer. And at the end, I will talk a little bit about case studies. And we will finish with Q&A session where I will try to answer your questions. Please, uh, you are welcome to ask them as I go in the chat. And in the end, I will just look through those questions and answer them uh, one by one. Thank you very much and let's go. About S4GA, as usual, a few words about S4GA for all attendees joined our webinar for the first time today. Well, S4GA designs, manufactures, and supplies uh, world's safest runway lighting. We are government-owned company and all our products and solutions are certified and meets both civil and military requirements. Our head office, uh, our manufacturing facilities and training center are located in Poland. As of October 2020, S4GA has delivered 125 systems in more than 50 countries. All airfield lighting systems that we delivered are certified and compliant with aviation standards and they are produced in Poland. So what types of systems do we offer specifically for the Army? 
S4G offers three solutions for military forces. Four permanent applications. Here we offer solar runway lighting, which operates continuously for 365 days a year on solar energy. For temporary applications, we supply military airfield lighting trailer, which meets NATO standards. And for helicopter landing zones, we offer portable and solar lighting system. Today, I will speak about solution number two, military airfield lighting trailer for temporary runways. S4GA trailer uh, is compliant with NATO STANAC 3534 document. NATO actually defines three types, uh, sorry, four types of uh, temporary airfield lighting systems. Those types are designed to provide pilot with sufficient nav aid, assuming different visibility conditions from good one to IFR ones. S4GA offers mobile system that is fully compliant with all types defined by NATO. In this webinar, I want to speak about the most challenging system, system type number three. And it is designed to support night operations in IFR conditions. So where, when visibility is below 400 meters. System type three uh, is designed to support day and night operations in limited visibility and IFR conditions. Such system normally shall provide lights and puppy. Lighting shall be NVG capable. System shall be powered by cable from mains or from the generator and shall have PHF or manual control. Well, S4GA supplies such system in two trailers. Trailer one contains airfield lighting kit that includes portable lights, puppy, and control system. Trailer two contains power supply equipment, including cabling and S4GA transformers. Power supply allows to connect the battery powered portable lights and puppy to a field generator, allowing them to be used continuously without the need for charging. Now let me go through key features of S4GA airfield lighting kit. First of all, it is compliant with NATO STANAC. User can illuminate up to 2.5 meter uh, kilometer runway. Lights can be remotely activated either from mobile controller or from the pilot radio so from the airplane. All lights are NVG compatible, so you can see them in Noctovision goggles. Our system is equipped with automatic light failure reporting. And the charging of the lights is provided with contactless charging. So there is, as you can see, there is no cables connected to the lights. The charging is contactless. So what do we have inside of our airfield lighting kit? First of all, we have portable lights. The number of lights can be different. The standard kit has 86 lights, but we can also build trailers that can include up to 130 lights. We also include mobile puppy lights, power bank that is powering puppy, generator, handheld controller that is used to activate the lights and puppy remotely, control unit, and integrated LCMS. I will talk about LCMS at the later uh, slides. What I want to say about LCMS before I finish this slide is of course, it is absolutely unique system and LCMS allows 
control over all lights or groups of lights, such as runway, taxiway, or approach. And what's the most valuable feature of LCMS is that each light is individually monitored. So system user is notified automatically about lack of charging, low battery level, or light failure with the help of LCMS. Power supply kit uh, is a cabling system which is used, sorry, uh, which is used in conjunction with the airfield lighting kit. Uh, it is very simple. It connects deployed portable lights to a generator or mains power source, allowing uh, actually extended periods of continuous operations. By connecting portable uh, lights to a continuous power source, user uh, no longer needs to return lights to the trailer for charging. Trailer contains cables as 4 ga transformers and cable stakes to firmly mount them, uh, I mean the cables to the ground. Let's have another look uh, on the trailer and what is inside. On the picture you can see uh, what we place in the trailer, taxiway lights, portable puppies, threshold lights, runway edge lights, power bank to power the puppy, and diesel generators. Here, there are two. And of course, we also have integrated airfield lighting control and monitoring system. All those uh, elements are included in a standard airfield lighting kit. On this short video, uh, you can see that lights uh, are mounted in a special design shelf and shelf can be easily pulled out the trailer by one person. We also use contactless charging for portable lights. You can see how light can be quickly mounted inside the trailer. And that is why you see no charging cables on this video that normally are very inconvenient when you have like 100 lights and you need to quickly connect lights to the chargers. S4G airfield lighting can be activated in a few different ways. With handheld controller, with control unit that is inside the trailer, with ELCMS system installed on a, on a military uh, computer. And of course, entire system can be activated on VHF frequency from airplane or from the helicopter. Here's an example of how puppy lights are activated using handheld controller. Here you can see how lights are activated using UR201 controller that is built in the trailer. And here is LCMS software that is used to activate the lights as well. You can change intensity, you can activate lights in a flashing mode. Now let me speak about airfield lights and power supply. SP401 lighting unit is the key element of S4G portable system. The light is designed to operate uh, obviously in the harshest conditions and it is equipped with energy efficient LED optics, large power bank, uh, ensuring light autonomy for up to 15 days of operations without charging. The power bank actually consists of two independent batteries that are standard type and replaceable and also what is important for the users available everywhere. 
The light is also equipped with emergency on-off button and controlled remotely via S4GA mesh wireless network that is both encrypted and cyber secured. These lights, it is available in multiple uh, types. So you can have it in runway edge light as approach light, threshold identification light, threshold light, end light, and taxiway light. Mobile puppy. Another component of S4GA military trailer is a mobile puppy. It is powered by uh, a power bank and power bank is charged with a diesel or gathering generator. Of course, puppy uh, is adjustable, it can be leveled easily in a mechanical way, as you can see here with the screws. Uh, and it is, as you saw before, it is wirelessly activated. Below you can see photos uh, of S4G puppy system that includes mobile puppy, controllers of the puppy, power bank, and generator. Now let me speak about a power supply system for portable battery powered lights. So power network uh, consists of power supply source, which can be both generator or mains. Uh, 230 volts AC is sent via electrical cable to S4G transformers. And each transformer converts Two hundred thirty volts into twenty four volts uh, DC. So basically, transformer there is to charge power bank built into the light, and energy stored in those uh, sorry in those power banks uh, is used to illuminate LED. This system is built in according. Uh, with NATO STANAC 3534 and is compliant with system type 3 used for IFR uh, operations. As you can see, here are the main requirements of NATO. So you need to have cabled IFR system, VHF or manual control, and VG capable, and power from mains or APU supply. Of course, you also need to have breathe and see control. Now, how is S4G system better than what NATO is uh, requiring? Uh, it's simple. Each light has uh, a battery inside. So if in case of failure of the power supply system, the light will remain operational for 15 days. Also, we provide on top of what NATO is requiring, we provide individual light monitoring so user can easily maintain the system by monitoring it every day. And in case of failure of any light, user can quickly react and exchange uh, the light or the faulty component. Here is a picture uh, of S4GA transformer. This is a unique design uh, that we use to convert 230 volts AC to 24 volts. DC. Uh, converter allows to charge power bank inside each light. And of course, this device, and you can, as you can see here on the, on the left, the specs, this device is designed to operate in very harsh environmental conditions. IP68 operating temperature from minus 40 to plus 85. And reliability also is high, uh, calculated mean time be uh, between failure is three million hours. Now, how does the entire system look like? Here is the visualization of the typical system layout. The, you can see here the generator that is connected 
via cable to the network of uh, S4GA transformers. And S4GA transformers are charging, not powering, but they are charging each light individually. Here is the same system. Uh, it's a technical drawing. Okay. To sum up, uh, what are the key benefits uh, of S4GA wired portable AGA system? First of all, it is compliant with NATO STANAC for IFR system type three. Uh, it is available 24 seven. So the lights are uh, being charged while standing on the runway. And there is no need to collect the lights for recharging. So it means no interruptions uh, in flight operations. And obviously the mobility of the system is very strong point because portable lights can be quickly disconnected from the grid and transported to another airbase or another airstrip. Few examples uh, of applications where we delivered our military trailers. On this slide, uh, you can see different uh, applications of S4GA portable lighting systems around the world. Here is the video uh, of our recent delivery in Argentina for Argentina Air Force. This is how instantly you can activate the system. The system has been installed in uh, less than 40 minutes, including installation of Puppy. This is how you deactivate the system as well. And uh, for the end, uh, today, uh, again, I've talked about portable airfield lighting trailer. S4GA portable system uh, is powered by cable, uh, allows to operate continuously for 24-7. The system is fully compliant with NATO STANAC requirements and meets military and safety standards. Before uh, I'm going to uh, answer your questions, uh, two more information that can be valuable. I would like uh, to pay your attention uh, on our two free online uh, courses where you can find a lot of valuable information. The first uh, source is a S4GA YouTube channel. Here you can find actually um, playlist called S4GA webinars with all our webinars recorded. Uh, you can watch each webinar online, including this one that will be available in a few days. The second source of uh, information oh, okay of course i'm also suggesting you to uh, subscribe so you are notified whenever there is a new uh, webinar available the second source uh, that becomes very popular among airport engineers and consultants within uh, the past few weeks is uh, s4ga online academy this is absolutely unique online course that uh, is dedicated to solar airfield lighting what is unique about it is that it is free of charge. Uh, you know that uh, it is very hard or almost impossible to gain knowledge for free in a uh, airfield lighting world where you have to pay for every course, both online and offline. S4G, however, decided to uh, share information for free to educate uh, users uh, around the world. Uh, so the course, this um, uh, Academy contains 10 modules explaining different aspects of solar AGL, such uh, as uh, compliance with ICAO installation, technical characteristics of, uh, of the system. Each module contains video and a short quiz. And then after a successful completion of this course, you will of course receive uh, an S4GA certificate. If you want uh, to take this course, 
what you need to do is to submit an online application form and uh, my colleague Olga, she will provide a link in the chat in a moment. Just click on this link, fill it out, the application, and you are going to receive registration, uh, access to the, to, the, to the academy. Okay, now, if you want to uh, request a quote for a trader, you are welcome to contact us. This is basically the end of the presentation part. Uh, and now I would like to uh, answer your questions. So I'm going to now check the chat. So the first question is, do the trader come standard with control and monitoring unit, unit and LCMS? The control and monitoring unit and LCMS are and are the optional items that can be added or not added to the trader depending on customer requirements. The most, the standard uh, option for activation is a handheld controller. But if a customer requires trader that is compliant with NATO, STANAC, uh, requirements, then you need to uh, get a trailer with UR201 control unit because it allows for VHF activation. How does it communicate with each light, LCMS? So LCMS communicates with each light using our uh, S4GA mesh radio network. What is the standard lux level requested on the runway? Um, I understand that the question is uh, asking me what is the standard um, light output? Well, the standard light output for NATO depends on the system. If you are using system for IFR application, you require approach lights, uh, unidirectional type of 5,000 candelas. And runway edge lights of 250 candelas. Having said that, uh, I want to emphasize that uh, S4 GA portable lights emit four times more uh, photometrical output than, than is required by NATO. Can these lights connect with solar engine? Is there a provision for the same? This li those lights can be the portable lights can be easily converted into solar lights and uh, be installed permanently on the uh, runway. Can portable trailer lights be also powered by solar panel? Yes, they can be powered uh, for the solar panel. There is no place in this trailer if you want a solar, let's call them solar upgrade for each individual light, we would need to supply another, another trailer to store uh, solar upgrades for the lights. Is the light frangible? Well, the light as it is, as you can see on the, on the trailer, it's, uh, it's portable. So there is no frangibility uh, required because it's not fixed. Is there any calibration for puppy system and photometrical testing? If the puppy system is calibrated locally on site. And of course, puppy, the Puppy photometrical test is done in laboratory uh, conditions. How can puppies level with the runway? Uh, can you clarify this question, Ali Reza? How can puppies level uh, with the uh, runway? Any analysis done for lifespan of LED lights as per manufacturer recommendations and variances in the field due to weather and other conditions? Well, the LED itself uh, operates at least 100,000 hours. And if you operate them in uh, less, uh, let's say in less uh, favorable conditions, then it, uh, the lifespan can be decreased to 60, 70,000 hours. The light itself, the lifespan of the light itself is around 15 years. 
how photometrical testing is done. Photometrical testing is performed by accredited uh, laboratory. So each light in S4GA is tested by accredited laboratory, and we have uh, certificates that proves uh, photometrical output. How many LCMS monitor can control the light network? I guess the question is, uh, sorry, I will um, say, it again, say it differently. How many lights can be monitored by LCMS? Well, the, the number of lights is uh, 10,000. What if a C collide with the lights if they are not frangible? Aircraft. Uh, so if aircraft collide with the lights and they are not frangible, well, the light shall just be uh, uh, moved away. That's it. Thank you for this webinar and specifically for Academy course. Please, I have a question for 230 volt generated by supply kit. So this value, is it constant when we have a long distance around all runway? This would require a little bit longer conversation, but the, so the answer will be like this. Uh, the voltage, 230 voltage, uh, uh, is dropping with the distance, obviously, but our uh, transformers, uh, they work in, um, uh, in a range of from f uh, 85 volts AC to 230 volts AC. So uh, regardless of the drop dropping uh, voltage, uh, they will still supply uh, our lights with required amount of energy. Is the puppy to be calibrated at three degree approach at standard? Yeah, the puppy is uh, calibrated at three degree approach. What you need to supply for puppy uh, to be uh, correctly absorbed by the pilot, you need to uh, supply for puppy leveled surface on your runway. As long as surface for the puppy is leveled, the puppy will provide three degree approach uh, angle. What is the range of generator set for the system? Uh, sorry, I do not understand. What, what kind of range do you have in mind? Sir, can you please, uh, can you please uh, clarify? Uh, I mean, does the light network can control with more than one LCMS unit? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I mean, LCMS, you have just one LCMS for the whole system. But if you're asking me if you can have, let's say, two or three controllers that can simultaneously control the lights, then the answer is yes. Another question here is, Ayman, how can we change the approach slope and how can we make sure that the airplane understand the right level of runway? Well, the approach slope uh, is changed by calibrating the puppy. And if the calibration is correct, then pilot shall see two white and two red, which means uh, the pilot is on the right uh, glide slope. What is the lifespan for the solar light panel? How feasible is the change of the panel on site? The lifespan of the solar panel itself is uh, 12 years. And you can change solar panel on site. It's not a problem. We are not providing uh, VASI lights. We are only providing puppy lights, both LED and halogen. I see. The kit generator and power bank does not present for air navigation obstacle or danger during failed landing or takeoff. It does not, first of all, because they are located uh, on a special distance. So you can locate them even 200 meters from the runway. Uh, I mean the generator and the power bank. In case if you have more questions or something left unanswered, uh, I really recommend you to contact us. Uh, Olga, you can provide my personal email. So in case of questions, you are welcome to contact me directly. 
and I will be happy. I really will be happy to help. Thanks a lot for this uh, uh, for this webinar today.